I am playing Minecraft, but every time I mine a sand block, it drops an OP item. My goal is to kill the Ender Dragon and not die a single time, because if I die, I have to end the video. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. All right, we're here in this world, and uh, you guys can tell by the title that every time I break sand, it drops an OP item. So we're going to see if we could beat Minecraft on this, and this is going to be like in sort of hardcore. So I only get one life, so if I die, it's game over. So let's see how far I can make this. Got some sticks and wood to start off in this chest, and some food, which is great. There's a whole village and pillage behind behind me you guys see that? that that's actually insane there's a pillager tower in a village like right behind me but should i go to the sand right now and break the sand to get op items or i guess this whole add-on is pretty much that so um yeah i'm just gonna go break some sand now let me see if i can find some stone first so i can make a stone shovel so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a crafting table now and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna grab some stone really quick so i can make a stone shovel oh yeah we got our stone guys all right so we got my crafting table we're gonna make some sticks really quick make a sword make a pickaxe make an axe lastly make a shovel there we go now we got all our tools that are stone and let's see what kind of op items we can get so let's break this sand oh we got some steak so we don't really need this food then i'm gonna throw this out and right here arrows a nice golden sword sharpness five though okay one hit this cow oh i could one hit this cow with sharpness five that's insane Ooh, steak and emeralds, which is great because there's a villager, uh, villager hut over there. What, what do they call it? There's a village over there. Ooh, enchantment table. Golden apples. Okay, say less. I think this is little OP. Look at these diamonds. Look at everything I'm getting. Getting diamond blocks, getting gold. All right, let me sort through my stuff really quick. I do have a diamond block now and an iron block. So I'm going to make some armor, like a diamond chest plate, diamond helmet. Then I'll make this with legs. We got some armor, which is really nice. I also got some more golden. Oh, there's different apples. So there's enchanted apples and just normal golden apples. Okay. I'm going to make a golden shovel. So it's a lot faster. Let's do this. Now let's go find some more. Uh, let's go find some more stuff for tools. But let's head over to the village right now. So how does... Uh, I don't really know how a trident works. So I just go like this and I fly up. Oh, I thought that was going to... I thought that was going to flaunch me. I guess that didn't launch. Oh, it comes back though. Oh, okay. Whoa, what am I getting shot from? Oh, this thing. All right, I got here. Got here. All right. All right, so I guess I need Riptide to uh, launch in the water. That'd be nice, especially when I have an Elytra. But let's go check what this village has over here. I have some pretty decent armor on. I do have a golden apple I'm going to use really quick. Let's go see what's over here. We got a nice sharpness five golden sword. Oh my gosh, where you at? There you are. You're gone. Where are these pillagers at? Come out here. Game over for you. There's another one over here somewhere, right? Oh, oh my, don't kill the villager. No, not the villager. No, 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 no. Stay away from the villagers. Oh, come here. Oh, you're done for. No, stop killing the villagers. Stop killing the villagers. You're gone. You're gone. Ah. You're gone. Oh, my sword's dead. There we go. Okay, we're alive. I don't really know what bad omen does. I think it gives you a discount to trade with the villagers so i'm gonna go see if that's true so i think bad omen gives you uh, a discount to trade with the villagers so i'm gonna see what happens if i drink it what does that mean what did i just do raid oh it's a raid that's how you start a raid oh that's my bad uh oh do i need boots though i do need some boots i'll take some uh, boots from you thank you okay these people cannot die now these villagers cannot die i need to protect them at all costs i need to get some more sand actually let me get some more sand uh oh i think a raid starting soon guys i'm so scared a raid starting soon grab some stuff grab some stuff let me get some sand all right we got a shulker oh my gosh we got a few things so for the next couple of minutes i went against the raid and honestly i thought the raid was gonna be a lot harder than it was so it was pretty good that it was easy it could be also because i had op items as well but beside the point i still beat it oh we got it we got the victory let's go now we can go use these emeralds and trade them really quick nice let's go trade with these villagers now let's see what we could get oh we got a nice little discount there let me go mine some more sand and see what else we could get let me throw everything in this chest really quick on this elytra i'm gonna put unbreaking three how much is that gonna cost two okay that's that's pretty good more sand more sand and my goal for the next few minutes was to get as much items as i could so i could go ahead to the nether and get some blaze rod so i could start going towards the end portal so i did a lot of mining and also got a lot of xp so i could enchant all my armor and tools and i had to clear a lot of my inventory because things were stacking up and i did not need all the items i was getting and there was something i didn't know until now there's a chance of totem spawning in from the sand which is incredible and this was my reaction when i found my first one. Oh, oh my gosh a totem of undying is insane i'm so glad we got that that is insane. I didn't even know you could get one of those. I wish I had more levels though. I need more levels, like more XP. And how I got more levels was either finding XP bottles or trading with villagers to gain XP. It was a little hassle, but I still made it work. Not many villagers have jobs here. Like what if I trade this farmer right here? What does he have for, okay. Emeralds for bread, I'll take that. 
Nice. I'm up to level 12 now, which is great. What's this guy? Oh. I do need some more firework rockets low-key, so I might have to just mine for those. Put unbreaking on this pickaxe really quick, and I think we should be good. All right, so I have pretty much everything to go to the nether, but my goal is to get some more fire rockets so I don't get lost in the nether and have to, like, walk back. Let me just get some more fireworks really quick. So I went mining for fireworks, and the craziest thing is that by the end of the day, I gained a total of 10 extra fireworks. Only 10. I didn't know they were so rare, but that's okay because the next day, I decided to go into the nether. All right, guys, we're actually going to the nether this time let's see if there's even enough obsidian to make the portal there should be right there should be enough obsidian oh and if you're wondering where this nether portal came from it was literally next to the village i was in i cannot make this up this is an insane seed obsidian and we should light the portal boom let's go we're going into the portal guys let's do it all right let's go find our way out of here see if we get out or something we need to find a bastion or a nether fortress or something. We do have a few totems and we do have enchanted apples, which is great in case we need some help. I think we should be okay though. Okay, here's a bastion. What I need to do is trap them and trade them. That's all I need to do is trade them gold. I have gold to trade, guys. I have gold to trade. And after about 10 minutes of me trading with them and waiting for an ender pearl, I found this information out. Pretty much, I will not get an ender pearl from trading gold with them. And that's only on bedrock edition, which kind of sucks. So here's my reaction to finding that. All right, so I found out that trading with these things behind me um i have like a one percent chance of getting an ender pearl so i'm gonna go find a nether fortress get some blaze rods to make a cleric and with that cleric i could potentially get an ender pearl from it and then also with the blaze rods i can make those ender pearls into ender eyes let's see if we find another fortress somewhere and remember i only have half a stack of fireworks and i need to use those to find another fortress and also get back to the nether portal and surprisingly i found another fortress oh my gosh i found another fortress no way oh my gosh blaze rod spawner <gasps> oh 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 we're good. We're good. We're good. Now that I think about it, looting would have been great on my sword, but it's whatever. And for the next 10 minutes, I pretty much farm blaze rods. So I think I got enough blaze rods and blaze powder. So I'm going to go head back to the nether portal, which hopefully I can find it. I only got 12 fireworks left, guys. 12 fireworks left. There's another portal. Oh my gosh. There's no way. We have seven fireworks left and we found the nether portal. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So I'm back in the overworld and my goal is to get a cleric villager and trade them up to become an expert so then I could trade emeralds for ender pearls and then eventually find the end portal and go defeat the ender dragon. Alright guys we got it you guys can see we have an ender pearl right here. We're gonna trade the last of these uh, emeralds for these glowstone. There we go. Now we need some more emeralds to get some more ender pearls. So I went back to mining sand to get some emeralds to trade for ender pearls to then turn into eye of enders to then go find the end portal, which didn't take too long. I eventually got all 12 eye of enders, but my next issue was finding fireworks so that I could fly around the map to look for the end portal. But what I did was get a riptide trident and I used that instead to fly and a couple of my fireworks. And eventually I did find the end portal. Oh, we found it, guys. It's right here. We have found the area. Let's go dig down now. I don't know how safe this is digging straight down, though. I guess we have to risk it. Okay, okay, we're in. Now we just gotta find the end portal. Come here, end portal. Where you at? Where you at? Oh, I found the library. Um. Oh my gosh, we found it. Let's go. Oh, and there's a silverfish. All right, all right, you're gone. You're gone, buddy. All right, let's go do this, guys. We have enough eye of enders. Let's go get the dragon now. Jumping in. Okay. All right, dragon. Hit this one. There you go. Okay, I got that one. There we go. Guys, I think we got all of them. Let's go kill this dragon now. Stupid Enderman. Enderman, Enderman, stop. No, he's flying away. There you go, hit him. Yo, I'm a sniper. Ender Dragon's gone. He's got to be done. Nope, never mind. Hear me, hear me. Going for the kill, going for the kill. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, he's throwing balls at me. Come on, hit him, hit him. Let's go! We got the Ender Dragon! Let's go! Oh, finally, let's go! That was pretty nice. Guys, that was insane. How do you grab the egg again? I forget how to grab the egg. Come here, egg. Let's go! You guys, we did it. We defeated the Ender Dragon using the OP sand. Oh, Ender Dragon. Enderman, 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 run away. All right, let me, let me, let me, let me get inside. Let me get inside. 
All right, guys, that is the video. We defeated the Ender Dragon using OP Sand, which is insane. If you guys do want to use this add-on, the link will be down in the description below if you guys want to play it as well. If you guys did enjoy this video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. But anyways, my name is Gabe, and I'm out. Peace.